uh, April 2014. Uh, we are here in Valencia, Spain. We are just um, uh, we are in this wonderful event, this uh, international encounter. I have here with me uh, Shidoshi Luis Noriega and uh, Sensei Daniel Monte, studying for his Shidoshi graduation. And uh, well, this will be um, a video, a footage with a different content. This is one of the one of the higher layers of Pike Jujutsu. This is actually the the juicy part, one of the most um, I want to say. The higher contents, the higher principles of Aikijutsu that may be found uh, in any technique. And, um, well, what we are studying today is uh, Iwa no Hari. It's one of the, one of the concepts we are going to talk and, and show and review. And uh, Iwa, as you know, is um, rock. And Hari means to stretch, the tension, the, the, the act of stretching. So. The idea behind this is to stretch the most we can, the okay, in some very, very painful and harmful positions, and uh, well, leave him, um, put him quite uncomfortable and damaged. So, everything we're going to show uh, is going to be shown with an an experienced okay and very, very slowly because this is quite harmful and dangerous, uh, and it does require a precise position. So. Suppose, for example, uh, Sensei Daniel will do, I don't know, suppose Atsuki. Suppose from here we are fitting, we are doing, we're going to perform a potemawashi. However, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the most we can. And uh, usually what we do is we rotate our, our hips, attempting to break. However, right now we are not using this angle. We're going to use this angle, this stretched angle. So all the power is restrained to this area. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch the most, and then I'll stretch uh, uh, um, this whole this whole position directly downward, up to the ground, down to the to the ground. Exactly. From here, we'll have a potemawashi, for example. One thing I'll ask Sensei to. Rotate so you can see. Okay, head to the other side. Okay. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring him downward, stretching the most we can, and using this position. So he is stretched from shoulder, elbow, and cote uh, and wrist as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to restrain his shoulder here and turn our legs inward with the hara. Um, firmly, uh, firmly put downward. So this is what we have. Let's see, for instance, if we have Potemawashi. <clears throat> Suppose he does Amako. Very nice. So from here, instead of doing just the Hineri, the torsion here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock his, lock the palm of his hand here, and then. Stretch. See, all this pressure will go to will impact on his shoulder, on his elbow, and finally here. The idea is that this will um, um, set a vector of force of power, and this will harm his his wrist quite painfully. So the idea is to stretch first, stretch the most we can, then apply some more pressure. Then kneel down, stretch even more, and then compress. Then enter downward. If you can, if if you note, once he is here, and once I keep rotating, keep pressing further, we see how the joints will get stiffer and stiffer. Now from here we still stretch, and this kind of of study is characterized by this. You know, he is overstretched, then we we fix, we pin down uh, his hand or his leg or some part of his uh, body on the ground and then we continue to press inward like this. I will just start to do it, but the idea, the principle of the technique 
as you overall the most and enter violently. Let's suppose, for instance, that she will do. Uh, suppose now we have a kotegaeshi. Suppose he enters anything he wants. Very nice. Suppose we are here. Instead of using the common form, the common thought of locking the elbow first, what we are going to do is we're going to stretch the most we can. We're going to put him downward violently using the elbow already as a a support for us. Then we are going to stretch even more, and once he is fully stretched, enter violently with our hara in this very fragile position of the hand. So very, very slowly, after overstretching, entering. The idea, of course, would be would um, attempt to um, uh, I mean command your body as if you would put his palm fully rolled inward. You know. One last form we can see so we can illustrate well uh, this Iwano Hari principle method is that everything we can do in the upper part of the body, we can do in the lower part of the body as well. Suppose he enters a Magali. Suppose we are here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to isolate and lock his his leg. And now what we may do is as if it was a kote hineri, however, of course, not in the hori, not in the kote, but in his uh, ashikubi. What we're going to do is this and this very slowly. Yes, the kote mawashi form, for instance, can be resembled by using uh, his his heel. So very slowly, using this and stretching even more and pressing in more. <clears throat> so this was the uh, Iwa Nohari principle and I kindly ask you please to teach us uh, even further. Thank you very much. Okay, <clears throat> we have uh, been talked by Shido Shiao about Iwa Nohari, but some masters explain further other study that it's called Yama no Hari. In this case, Hari, we have studied before by Shido Xiao, that is uh, to extend, to, to get, uh, to, uh, to stretch. Then uh, Yama in this case means uh, mountain uh, at the riverside that Iwa was the rock. Then in this case, while in uh, Iwa no Hari, we were extending uh, the joint we were locking by extension, by stretching the joint. Right now, on Yama no Hari, we are going to, to stretch the whole body of the, of the opponent. Then let's take a closest look to this, to this, uh, to this principle. Please. In this case, as you, could, uh, as you have seen before, uh, the techniques are only based on the regular techniques. In fact, some uh, beginners who uh, couldn't, it could be difficult for them to make the difference between a regular technique of fighting jutsu than uh, what are these advanced principles, that uh, special uh, advanced principles. Then uh, I am not going to, to apply it by a regular sequence, only I, we are going to take a close look to the tips or that we could find in these techniques. For example, right now, we're, what we are going to understand, one of the principles that some advanced students confuse, it's what about the extension of the whole body and a um, so, sub-principle that you could find inside, that it's to find um, like uh, controls that we have in a, a 90 degrees positions. Like for example, if we have this kusure kote mawashi in this way, we could find for this position that, of course, if we only uh, twist here the, uh, the, the wrist, we could find a honi nuki or a regular uh, order advanced concept in order to break here the joint, the wrist joint. But for example, in this way, what we could do is to extend before we twist at the same time, 
this could be very, very painful. Remember, we are doing in a, a, a slow motion in order don't harm, uh, don't injure my partner, in this case, uh, Sensei Daniel. But please be very careful. This is only could be studied by um, a skill, okay, because this is very hard. One more time, from here we have the control and here is not only twisting, the idea is to make a movement of my body, make his body to stretch in this way, moving and having this. The, only the, the stretch motion will make uh, the control very painful. This is like a kusure kote mawashi that we could find, for example, kusure kote hineru. For example, if we have here, we have this, on this position, we could, for this, look for a stretch the whole body on this. And this is very painful. This is some explanation on what is a more advanced Iwa no Hari, but in this case, called Yama no Hari. Let's go for the for an ending technique for this video in order to understand all the keys on this concept. For example, if we start maybe on my Morotefe Kubitori, we have here and we will go here for the Uragote technique. Please take a close look here. And right now we are going like in the most Aiki Jujutsu techniques, going to put the energy downward, but the idea here it's to stretch the whole body. We need to find a position that the arms get straight forward, please knee down, and from here, no, 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 on this position, right, okay, and from this we have this control here. We have the whole stretch, but this looking for the right position, the right block, and stretch one more time here. From here, we need to find for putting the energy on the shoulders in order to stretch the whole body. In this way, it's impossible. The hara, it's completely, uh, it's completely locked in this position. He, it's not. Uh, he, it's avoided to take out to stretch his legs. And this control, I will step on the wrist and extend. This is very hard. We could apply it, for example, when the extension that we have reached before, for example, this circumstance, extend, extend your body, please, your legs, your legs, extend, okay, very, very slow, we could find for this, making this circumstance, this situation here, and from here, looking back and stretching by the shoulders pressure on this way. If you could find, we have stretched the whole body, stretch the back, come backward and get the pressure. And this is called Yama no Hari. The stretching, the extension, the tension, the stretch of the mountain. Then, uh, I don't know, Shidoshia would like to assist something, please. Well, uh, this a great explanation Shidoshi Ibis has taught us uh, can be seen as um, a second stage that is, well, when you stretch a rock, what you have is you can injure um, quite in a, you know, in a very um, in a very harmful way any, any part of his body, but what, what Shidoshi Ibis just, just taught us is an extension, we can say, of this principle in which the whole body is fully stretched. Um, we can emphasize one more time that this, uh, although uh, can just be quite understood once you feel it, uh, can be very, very painful and uh, it, it can injure quite easily the body. So if you wish to learn any of these, what we do suggest is that you look for uh, any representative of our, our school that can teach you and lead you step by step in a safe way.